Hi, this is Michael from Nuxted Coding and in this video, I will show you how to download and install, utilize DuckDuckGo privacy browser on your Android phone. So go ahead and open up your Play Store. So as you can see here, I have opened it up ahead of time and here in the search bar type in DuckDuckGo. Here it is, DuckDuckGo privacy browser. So before we install it let's take a closer look at this features available in here so as you can see it says privacy simplify search anonymously browse privately smart smarter encryption block trackers these are the features available if you're going to use this browser so let's go ahead and install it now so while waiting for it to complete, I just want to let you know that DuckDuckGo brow Privacy Browser has the speed you need, the browsing features you expect like tabs and bookmarks and comms packed with best-in-class privacy essentials. So again, the features available are escape online tracking, uh, search privately, enforce encryption, decode privacy, signal and uh, signal your privacy reference with GPC so this is a built into the browser global privacy control CPG which instead which intends to help you express your legal opt-out rights automatically this will tell websites not to sell or share your information under the future other future legal frameworks so it's almost done and Again, if you're tired of being tracked online, then I would suggest using DuckDuckGo Privacy Browser. Alright, it's done. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so this is the interface. As you can see, it has this information. The internet can be kind of creepy. Not to worry, searching and browsing privately is easier than you think. So let's do it. So... This is where you will be asked if you want to set this as your default browser. So let's just uh, let's just skip this part. So maybe later, and then next try visiting one of your favorite sites. I'll block trackers so they can spy on you. I'll also upgrade the security of your connection if possible, which is really good. Let's try that and let's search Yahoo.com. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, there's a pop-up here that says Kum's car was trying to track you here. So I blocked them. You can check the URL bar to see who is trying to track you when you visit a new website. So here is, so you see this fire icon here at the top right portion if you click that. So this will tell you to clear all tabs and data. So personal data can build up in your browser. Use the fire button to burn it all away. So just by tapping this fire icon, it will clear all your tabs and data. There you go. So there's an animation there, which is good. Okay, so let's try google.com. And here as you can see, heads up, I can't stop Google from seeing your activity on google.com, but browse with me and I can reduce what Google knows about you overall by blocking the trackers on lots of other sites. Got it. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to use. Simple, yeah, it's so easy to use. Easy. Simple and easy. So clear, and yeah, you can clear all the tabs and data by pressing this icon here at the top now let's try this three dots so this is where you will see the bookmarks okay so right now I don't have any bookmarks sites or any sites that I have bookmarked I don't have any yet and again let's go back to Google okay, let's try that again and as you can see the options now is available for you to use new tab so again this is for another tab bookmarks if you want to bookmark google and bookmarks is where you all of your bookmark size will be shown up add bookmarks if you want to add this to your bookmarks fireproof sites so there 
You can do that, you can share, add to your home page, finding page, desktop site, privacy, disable privacy protection, settings, let's try settings. And here you can change the team from light team to dark team. Auto complete suggestions, you can disable that. If you want to type in manually, you can set this to default browser. App icon will be displayed like this. So um, you can play along with the settings, the location, let's try that. So to manage the location access permissions you've granted to individual sites, enable location for this app in Android settings. So again, there's really a lot of features available on this. So again, just wanna let you just wanna so before we wrap up, I just wanna I just wanna let you know again that this browser has many features. One of them is escape online tracking, search privately, enforce encryption, decode privacy, and signal your privacy preferences with GPC. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.